All right, I got the stream started. And I'm drinking today, shit. What's up, what? guys? What? Sports Live episode 107. This is our New Year Eve show. It's going to be probably the shortest show. It's going to be a shit show. It's going to be a shit show. Gonna Who cares? Know. Right off the bat, Obi's uh, in rare form tonight. <laughs> Nobody can sh- hear him. He's so low. I know, he's super <laughs> low. And totally- Are you serious? I turned my shit down and I'm fucking super low? Oh, God. No, you're good. Right? <laughs> you're good right where you are, Ovi. Okay, just checking. If you don't want to be heard. Oh, he's cosplaying uh, Angry Grandpa. Grandpa. Oh, shit. I'm gonna fall. I'm dead. Oh, shit. No, my, my name's Uncle Grandpa. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. I was testing there goes that echo. All right, hold on. Uh, can I, I start, start this th- Yeah, start, stream start the today? stream. I want to queue up the music. Whatever. All right. Whatever. Got to come up. Is it going to happen? Obi's come being, on, go. Obi's being emo today. Oh, my I'm dude. waiting on you, Bro. as always. Oh, my lord. All right, hold on. You started it? Oh, my lord. You started? Yeah, now I gotta fucking edit. Great. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> gotta waste more time. <laughs> Tell more jokes. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> Best joke of the You are listening to an All Games Radio Network broadcast of AllGames.com. You are listening to an All Games Radio Network broadcast of AllGames.com. Hi, this is Normie from Knuckleballer Radio and Zombie Cast, and you're listening to one of my favorite shows on the Geeky Antics Network. Don't forget to check out the rest of the gang over at geekyantics.net. Warning, there might be rants and food ahead and possibly inappropriate behavior. Don't tell anybody, though. Welcome, Geeks Gamers. Wait for Yogi to fix his mic. Hey, Obi, I don't think you're crying enough tonight. Can you play a little more? Yeah, I can. I really could. Oh, my God. Yes, I can. Well, we're back. Welcome, Geeks, Gamers, Ninjas, Robots. It's Horseplay Live. Today is December 31st, 2015. It's episode 107. This is our New Year's Eve podcast. Our New Year's Eve 2015 pseudo show. Yeah. Before we get all the fun ahead, everybody knows this guy. I, I cuss him out every week, and he deals with it somehow. Uh, I'm still here. It's two over two years, and I'm still here, so I'm doing something right, or he's just putting up with me enough. But the one, the only, the man behind the scenes at geekyantics.net, Yogi Zilla. What's up, buddy? What's up? Uh... Before the show, you guys gotta. Before the show, I'm sitting there, and I just, I do it every week, just, just get, just to see what he's saying. You know, gonna say, and I just bitch, 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 bitch until I talk, start talking to him, and until we start the show, I bitch, 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 bitch. 
And now I'm starting to think maybe that's a reason why he doesn't talk to me all week. Man, you must be psychic or something. <laughs> Listen, I have a salty wife. I don't need to. I told you this already. There is no secret here, Obi. You keep calling me that, and we're going to have issues. <laughs> well, but similarly, I love you. I try just me. try to take you in small doses. Wait, that sounds really gay. He's coming out of the closet, everybody. Congratulations, Jogi. I knew you had it in you, buddy. Well, I record the podcast in the closet, so it is fitting. Yeah, yeah, well, sort of. <laughs> so, yeah, tonight, you know, we're going to... It's going to be an unusual show. Most people are probably not even listening live, but we're doing it live. He, he, this is one thing, too, guys. He didn't even give me, like, any... Like, hey, buddy, we got... um. You know, we have this for our Christmas, our New Year's episode here. Use this overlay. No, I'm just using the same shit. Just because. Yeah. Just because. He really doesn't love me much. Know what he does. Okay, when I do give you stuff to put in the overlay, you don't put it in there. Yes, I do. I've told you to change the the text in the upper right hand corner. Put a it, watermark, little images in there. You do it no, one, you haven't. one out of ten times. No, you haven't. I sure have. No, you haven't. Okay. You're on crack, dude. If you have stuff for me to put in to the overlay, okay, I put it in. If you I said ask change you... the text. I changed the text, and I said, what would you like me to change it to? Because, dude, there's 350 text changes on OBS alone. So what would you like me to change it to? I'll do that. But you never tell me. You said just change the text. Okay. I'm going to change the text. I already did it. You didn't like that one. I changed it again. You didn't like that one. You know. But see, that's another thing. Know, they, they go do it begrud begrudgingly. It's like, oh, no, you don't like that. It's like, no, I'm like, just switch things up. So, you know, I just leave it as it is. It hurts me, dude. <clears throat> like, it, it seriously hurts me. Oh, stop For, it. When you, when you come. Stop. Stop. Don't. <laughs> No one's it, buying it. It hurts. It, I don't care if anybody's buying it or not. It hurts my feelings. I have feelings, regardless whether you think I do or not. No, I have I feelings. Think, I think you are a ninja robot. Feelings. Sometimes you nothing but. Oh my god. Feelings. Oh lord. Have you been so, drinking it already? Maybe. Oh lord. I'm too sober to deal with this ob right now. Uh, well, yes. Hello. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, Sadie. I agree. She shook her head to that. She was like, mm -mm, "Nope." And she was shaking her head because you said you were sober. You got a crazy wife. You already said that, or a nagging wife. So you're never sober, bro. Come on. Soren says that you're a sensitive man. He he buys it. I think he, he understands. He understands. I'm just sensitive. I show my sensitive side. I'm not afraid to show my sensitive side. Well, I did get you the last Christmas. I got you the uh, Gillette sensitive skin. You know, the Edge formula. You know, the sensitive skin yeah. one. You didn't send it to me. Yeah, I said I got it for you. I didn't say I sent it to you. Yeah. I got it for you. I got you a 55-inch fucking flat screen TV out in the living room that I just forgot to send to you. I do I do appreciate that. You know, I know a guy that's got I like, like uh, it. He's got a 75-inch TV in his man cave, and he's, like, sitting, like, two feet away from it. I'm like, what, are you crazy? Well, once we build everything up to where, like, my, my studio or my podcast place is going to be, um, I'm not really sure if the, the, the podcasting booth is going to be in the same room. Like, if we're going to have, basically, like, one giant room and then just make a corner of the room and close it off. I'm not really sure I'm going to do it like that. But I'm gonna have a a giant projector screen for in my man cave when I when we get it done. So yeah, it's gonna be on the whole wall. Word. Wait, all Derek H says he only hears like half of the conversation. Uh I don't know what that would be. You can't hear me? Oh I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I gotta fix something real quick. Derek, the one thing I do want to say is, sir, I'm very, very sorry. Um, I, I love, I love the network, and Yogi just takes, you know, he just scrubs sometimes. So you gotta forgive him a little bit. It is the end of the new end of the year, so. <clears throat> oh. Now, uh, now, 
My side is coming up. There you go. <laughs> now they're the full. At least we <laughs> caught it ten minutes in. <laughs> Yeah, at least he's like, he's like, I can't hear Yogi. Okay, Obi made up for it. He made me laugh. I forgot I, I changed something, <laughs> so. He does that all the time, guys. I forgot I changed this. Uh, you gonna you gonna keep going? You gonna keep going, son? Talk yeah. shit? I am dad. <laughs> God. <laughs> Got ya. My lord. <laughs> Deckard says that the next room over is going to be a room just for or orgies. But by the way, we got two people already in here. This is a call-in episode, so it's gonna be purely <laughs> rants and raves. So if you hate the broadcast kind of feel, uh, if you hate banter, like if you're like the Peter Capaldi Doctor and you don't like banter and merriment, this is probably not the show for you. But you can join us next week for the regular show. We actually have a slightly more structure, a little bit more. We have topics. Tonight, not so much. We're just gonna, we're gonna bullshit. But we got, we got a uh, Deckard C, the uh, the host of our drunken karaoke, our drunken drunken game review segment, that pseudo show. So basically, all these people that say we do a broadcast, that those are all the homophobic fuckers that are not don't understand what a what a podcast is, just because we don't have a chick on there. No one has accused us of that, but. There's a lot but I'm of people... saying that's what that's what's being said right now, basically. No, no one says is we're we're broadcast. No one, no one says. That. Oh, it's on, guys. It's on. No, 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 no. no, said no. It. Uh, I said it. No one has said that. I said it. But people ass will assume that the time if it's not a girl. But yeah, Deck we have Deckard C, aka Paul G, the G in there. The show of one. The show of one. The army of one. The one. The, the army of one arm. The... Oh. <laughs> we got. The... That's the scrub show right there. It's a good show. He knows it. Viewer Why choice. is this a, a pseudo show? Because you, ha cause you like have a fake show? Why is this a show? Pseudo show? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, Yogi's retarded sometimes, so just deal with it. Yeah, because it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a real show, but it kind of isn't. So it's not a fake? It, it's a fake show. You guys are fake. It's like the... It's like a... Uh, Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi type of thing, you know? Hey, you're, you're, wow, you're, fake you're, gamers? It's, you're, it's the soda, but it really isn't. All right, so <laughs> anybody that did leave or was here in the beginning or uh, actually is in the call, they're going to leave now because, like, why am I wasting time my time with this fake show? Oh, boy. <laughs> this fake yeah. show is not even going to go up. No, it's going like, to go up. It everybody go says, up. like, So it's a real just, show. That's just Derek, like, Derek saying something to, like, Yogi, actually. Derek's not really talking to him. He's, like, faking. He's, like... Uh yeah, Derek can't hear us, and he's not even streaming. Like I'm the only one probably streaming right now. I am streaming right now to my channel on Twitch, and you're streaming to Geeky Antics channel, Twitch TV forces Geeky Antics, and we're on AllGames.com, folks. By the way, Why are you getting so sensitive, Yogi? I'm not. I'm just. I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm using the opportunity to to plug, 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 plug. We plug also, what? We're also you joined. Can't, you can't plug a fake show. Uh, a... We're also joined by Not Panda. He's a panda that's not. No, no, no. He's a garlic knot panda. He eats. He's a panda that likes to just steal people's garlic knots and then eat okay, them. Okay, not. Well. Garlic knots are good. I like it. If they, if a garlic knot does not smell like feet, is not a good. Is not good. All right. For first of all, <laughs> if another dude steals my food, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Um, and then if you steal my garlic knots. I'm going to take my gun out and shoot you. Um, yeah. Don't work like that, bro. Also, if you folks uh, haven't been keeping up with uh, the Geeky Antics uh, Facebook page, uh, you, you really should go over there. By the way, you know, Augie has a really cool Facebook page. But I can't post to it, so I couldn't share it there, too. Derek. <clears throat> I would I would have posted it there, too, though. But... There's a cool thing there. It's a group called Lady Go Baby. Back. It's uh, two Japanese girls that, of course, are super kawaii. And, and then there's, like, a really huge dude. He's a ginger with blue eyes, but he's a scary-looking dude, and he's like sings death metal, all right? Yeah, he's Australian. He's an Australian wrestler, apparently, right? Uh, I didn't hear he was a wrestler, but I know he's... I think he was always a heavy metal guy 
Well, apparently he's a he's a professional wrestler too. Someone, oh, someone, shit. someone that's a big fan was telling me that. So that that, that video that just came out with, I think it's called Age Age Money. It's like uh, it's got a good message. It's all about like, you know, the the executives hogging up all the wealth and then like not paying their employees well. You know, and they want wages increased and better, better, better uh, benefits, blah, 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 you know. The part really, this is a problem over in Japan, too, not just evil corporate America. But uh, it, I actually enjoy their music because, like, he's like, whoa, you know, doing his little death metal thing. And then the girls are, are like, doing the, you know, J-pop-ish thing, you know, but it's J-rock. But It actually works really well. It does work really well. I was surprised. And... I gotta say, like the in that video, the second girl that sings has a really good voice when she actually sings, and isn't just doing like the little talky talky thing, you know. And she has a really good singing voice. I'm like, oh man, her voice is pleasant. Like, it made me think of like a like a good like anime theme song. You know, when you listen to like a, a anime theme song, you actually listen to it all the way, and like the vocals are dope. You're like, oh shit, is that? I actually would listen to this like just for funsies. Like that's just when I'm watching the show. It was kind of that kind of thing, or like a good video game song, and it's like, oh man, she has a really good voice, man. I'm surprised. So, la- lady baby, check that out. Leave us some comments. Let us know what you think. Uh, Facebook.com for says geeky antics. We're plugging shit at the top of the hour. It's weird doing this so early. I feel like it's a whole different energy. I don't know. Wait, what do you mean? Because we're not, we're not, we actually have to watch out what we say, or. Oh no, all that. What? Derek doesn't care what we say. As long as we're not being racist or, or uh you know, chauvinist. I don't do that, Yogi. We can discriminate against circus midgets though. I don't think there's any circus circus midgets well, in the demographic that we're that we're we're targeting on, on all games or on geeky antics or any, or any of our partner networks and platforms. So we're good. Sorry, circus midgets. <laughs> Some good porn though. Some good porn. Oh shit! I'm gonna I'm gonna call out a lurker that just pop popped in. Now nah, I won't say it yet. I wait for her to say something first. We might have we might have a special guest tonight. We might have a special guest tonight. Hey by the, girl. By the way, by the way, <laughs> God. Probably Normie. We might. Uh, I'm not. Uh, you guys will see. We'll see. We might if be. It's, if it's Normie and Normie, you don't get on here. I'm gonna be very mad. And upset and frustrated. I'm gonna rage the rest of the show. You already started raging. You can't keep keep that bit going. I can rage as long as I need to. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. This might be a raid, guys. It might be a raid. It's a cupcake raid. I knew it. What's up, Joshua B74? And I see Christine, aka Cupcake Envy. I can't believe it. Lurking there. They're, Mug- they're throwing perfectly good cupcakes. I don't, I don't understand why you would throw a cupcake. You got to catch it in your mouth, man, so it doesn't go to waste. Oh, man, we don't do that. The monkey bubble in the house. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year's Eve. We're going to say Happy New Year because it's, it's, it's the New Year somewhere in the world. In Australia, well, for Goldie right now, it's already New Year. Yeah. yeah. Japan is New Year. Uh, 2016, yeah. Pumped. Pumped. Yeah, it's gonna be just like 2015, same day. Same no, 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 don't be like that. Don't be like that. Listen, this is gonna be the year of positivity. Cupcakes in the house too. We're gonna be po- we're gonna be positive this year as a stream team. We're gonna work together. We're gonna do great things. It's gonna be wonderful. Beautiful things are gonna happen. Catch them. She said, "Catch them for fuck's sake." That's right. Catch the cupcake. What kind of, cu- what kind of cupcakes? What, what kind of cupcakes does everybody like? Discuss. Discuss. Hey, hey, he's throwing Molly too. <laughs> I'll catch it. Hey, got it. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah, we got a nice crowd coming in. So this is a mostly unplanned show. We were saying we were leaning towards doing an earlier show. See how it feels. So far, it's so good. It's cool. We're getting a cool crowd. Oh, do you do? We can't do this every weekend five at five o'clock. I know. We I don't can't think... do it live. There's no way. I have you have stuff to do. I have stuff to. Do. I don't get done with the things I do on Thursdays until eight, maybe yeah. nine. So. Well, we'll, we'll oh, do. Man. What we'll do, we might do it every now and then. Because I'm. It's on Derek. It's. It's not. If, as long as they give him a heads up, 
we could, because, you know, at 5 o'clock, we already have our replay. You know, the previous show of Horseplay Live goes mm-hmm. on on allgames.com every, the following Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. And uh, what is that? 10 p.m. Uh, GMT. Too bad we can't get on at, like, 6. or uh, No, that's 7 o'clock is uh, somebody else's show. Man, that'd be perfect because then we do 5 and th- five and 7. 5 is last week's show and 7 o'clock is the live show. Man, that'd be awesome. We get to 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock is Dead Pixel Live, Power Rankings Edition, where uh, Derek H. talks about uh, the, the, the zeitgeist in the gaming industry and ranks yeah. the, uh, the, the most relevant co- uh, consoles, not according to sales, but according to relevance and uh, advancements and popularity, I guess. Yeah, I should have, I should have remembered that I, I only say it. That's like the last thing I say every single week. The Dead Pixel Live Power Ranking Show is up, followed by the Knuckleball Radio at their new time. Yeah. Yep, yep. And Cupcake says she likes uh, red velvet with chocolate or strawberry frosting. I don't eat cupcakes, sorry. At all? I, I, will, I will eat a cupcake, but without the frosting. Oh, the frosting. Wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> back, back the truck up. <laughs> you don't like any frosting at all? Not even like buttercream or nope. whipped cream or better nope. cream? No kind nope. of frosting? Really? Nope. Nope. Even if it isn't as sweet? Not even like the cream cheese frosting or anything like that? Nope, I can't. You can't do the cream cheese frosting, dude? It just, it gives, it just... Whenever I eat it, this is, it's really funny. It's, I had it as a kid. Um, like whenever I eat, you know, cupcakes or frosting or cake or anything... Um, my taste buds are thrown off for about a week and a half. I don't know why. Like, I'll, um, I found it out when I think we were, I don't remember what we were doing. We were having a really, you know, my favorite meal as a kid, of course, is pizza, right? That's why I hate pizza now. Um, but we'd have pizza, you know, and I'm just, you, you get that, you know, we always get the meat lovers. My dad would get the meat lovers and then my mom would get the Supreme. So then us kids would have something to eat, you know, meat lovers. And um, every time, you know, we tried it one time and we ate a cupcake and we ate frosting beforehand. Just, you know, it was a present from somebody. And I could not taste the pizza at all. I mean, I'd done it again just to try it and I couldn't taste. One time I went and I was, we were making steaks on the grill and everything. And somebody's like, here, take this cupcake. I ate the cupcake and I couldn't taste the steak. Like, it was almost for like a week afterwards. So I don't eat cupcakes frosting anymore. Do you like sweets at all? This is like blasphemy. Um, on occasion, um, and two, I'm still I'm I can't really work out a lot, so I I really try to um, lower the intake of like sweet sweet candy stuff. Because if I don't, you know, I can't really work out and move around a lot. So then I just get tubby bubbied, and I don't want to do that. Damn, dude! I learn something new every day. It only took you two and a half years to learn that. We think you're gonna learn in five. We have Holy two people. We have two people that that have the name Cupcake on our stream team, and it never came up in conversation, even though we talk about them both quite often. Cupcake Noms and Cupcake Envy. Yeah, though I, yeah. you know, I do have to say we are a little more. We do lean a little more towards Cupcake Envy because she's she's very active, you know, and uh, and uh, she she gives us lots of love, and you know. Cupcake and I should be really busy lately, so I get it. You know, life happens. <laughs> wait, 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 what happened here? The episode? Yes, Yogi always talks. This is why, yeah, it's all good. I, I, this is this is how we've planned it and how we've done it for two years. He talks his ass off, and then I chime in when I want to say something stupid. No, 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 they said, Monkey Bubble said, Yogi. oh my god, Yogi talks. I don't think he's being facetious. He, I think he was saying you were being long-winded. Mm-hmm. That's how we uh, take turns. I, I don't know about that. But... Zort, Zort says Yogi always talks. What you know about that? Don't, don't tell them. Don't, don't, don't ruin their magic. Let them find out for themselves. It won't take them too long. <laughs> Listen, I've said it before. I'm in a household, you know, and, and our family has a lot of women in it. And good, if you're surrounded by women constantly, good Lord getting a word in edgewise. Oh, shit. I tell him shut the hell up so I can talk. Yeah, so yeah. I'm I'm used to just nodding a lot and going, "You're right," because I know that's the only way to speed things up. 
Well, see, I'm one of those guys where if they're not right, I'm not going to let them be right. That's just oh, how it yeah. is. But you can't. You don't. You got to choose your battles. I uh, boys outrank the girls in in my house. It's me and my son versus mama. Nine times out of ten, he takes her spot or her side, but still, boys versus girls, we win. Thinking the boys are always partial to mama and uh, girls are always partial to daddy. Man, and you know what? My wife's holding babies a lot lately, and she keeps asking, she keeps looking at me funny. I'm like, no, we don't want any more babies. <laughs> we we can get. I told her. I told her we can get them pre-grown. Like five, six, seven years old, perfect. And avoid and avoid uh, all the diaper changing and stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Man, I don't mind the diaper part. It's when they become uh, feisty teens and, and and everything everything is. I don't know if I'm ready for a daughter yet, though, dude. Dude, just, I, I'm uh, just saying. Yeah, that's. I do not know if I'm ready for it. The sass is crazy. Like everything's a problem. Everything's ending the world. Everything sucks. It's like, man, the emo is strong within this one. <laughs> Josh, you're, you're she's a... hinting at you for some unprotected sex. <laughs> Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Yeah, no, we've already went down this road. Deck, you're a parent. What do you think about it? Uh, I just know uh, about raisins. You ever give a baby raisins? <laughs> Don't fucking do it because they can't digest that shit. Yeah. And and the raisins come out very plump, uh, full of shit. <laughs> This is some knowledge right here, man. Just saying. Raisins, do raisins and corn are very scary foods at any age. Yes, really Tiger Claw, it. we are live on all games. Yeah, we're live. We did a spe we're doing a special show, man. It's a special show today. Well, because you know, he, he says normally I would hear last week's show right here. Yeah. So, He's, like, yeah, no, we're live, dude, on all games. We're... This is it's New Year's Eve, and and I want to be with my. I told him, I'll tell you guys, this is why we're a reason why we're doing this, is either we were going to pre-record it or do it earlier, because um, you know Yogi has the pleasure of being with his nagging wife at the same place. I don't, so I'd like to be with her on on New Year's Eve, and it'll give everybody not have to listen to us from eleven to one. Something new, something little change, but we want to spend time with our family, so we're just doing a little early this week. Yep. Only eight hours, six hours earlier. Yeah, that's good. Gives everybody time to maybe take a power nap and then uh, party tonight and drink and all that good stuff. I'm drinking now. We're starting. Let's go. Uh. Speaking of that. Oh, Christine's leaving. I was hoping she would join us on the call. But you guys can call in uh, if you just do bang, you know, the exclamation mark, team speak, or bang, call in. It'll show you our team speak info. We don't do Skype because uh, Skype uh, tends to encourage script kiddies to do weird things because they have nothing better to do. <laughs> and, you know, every now and then we do uh, we do Skype, but you know, yeah. I mean, Keep it, talking, man. I gotta have. I gotta go get another beer. Oh boy, I'm. I, I haven't started yet. I haven't started yet. I won't be starting. So I'm gonna get a new batch of. Uh, Diarrhea juice, as, as uh, Decker likes to call it, the uh, eggnog. Puerto oh, Rican eggnog. I'm sorry. Oh, I have an iron stomach, dude, so it's, it's cool. Can't do it. Uh, you may, Maybe you use that bad uh, I, eggnog. I, I would need to wear a diaper if I, if I had some eggnog right now. <laughs> Damn. Have you seen the the adult diaper commercials, Panda? Have you seen these too? Bring him back into it. Come on, Panda. Come back in. Come back in, Panda. No, okay. Yeah, they got they got these adult diaper commercials, and they make it seem so casual. Like this. Oh just... yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every day looking, it's like every day people, right? Like like there's some like milfy looking women there, and you're like, oh, she's pretty, she's pretty hot, and then. They show her like wearing her adult diapers. <laughs> yeah, they're they're on the beach. <laughs> they're at the beach in the adult diapers, <laughs> wearing a one piece. <laughs> like, look, <Whoa>. no lines. 
Oh my god, it's just great. It, it all like they do such a good job with it. Like these everyday situations, right? And everybody seems to be having such a good time. And it's like, damn, I want some of that adult diaper action. <laughs> I need to get Their some of that. figure looks like an upside down umbrella. <laughs> it does. Big ass diaper. Oh my god, yeah. They, 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 and they have them so that like they uh. They uh, double up as like a uh, like a garter belt type of thing or a corset, so like it makes you more form fitting or whatever it makes your clothes more form fitting or make makes your contours look better. I don't know what the the selling point. How would you you phrase it? But that's that's what they're going for. Like look, no lines. Look look at that small waist. Like, yeah, pretty but convenient though. It is pretty convenient. What the fuck did I come back to? We're talking about adult diapers and how they've become mainstream now. Dude, they got commercials on there. I just saw one. I was, uh, I have the TV on. I was watching Ohio, or uh, Michigan, Ohio State, goddamn. Um, I was watching Michigan State versus Iowa again. And they just had an adult, adult life diaper, like somebody's just walking around at work with them. Like, really? Like, now I'm going to be checking chicks. Like, do they have a bigger, like a plumper butt than they should? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> You can well, you, you know the thing the the thing that a lot of us old fuddy duddies don't tell you about is like you know you always think about old old men like seventy plus pooping and peeing themselves, but that stuff starts pretty much once you start hitting your mid thirties and fo and then early forties for oh, some crap. people. So look, that's what you have to look forward to, you young folks out there, L laughing at something really hard and then going, oh, I think I pee myself a little bit. Yogi, did do you? Have that issue? I'm just saying, when you're old, stuff happens. Because <laughs> you included my age group in there. I'm like, no way. Himself. Yeah, I, I poop on myself all the time, guys. <laughs> hey, I, look, we got to... Damn it, Bob. I thought a, everyone had a poop sack. This is a PSA. Like every other day. It's a PSA. It's a public service announcement. You know, I'm, if you're... Yogi you know, poops on himself. There if you're you 35 go. or older and you pee, you pee yourself a little bit, in everyday situations, you're not alone. And don't let your friends make fun of you. Just make sure you hide it well. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm 34 and I don't do that. <laughs> All the way, I don't Opie. pee and poop on myself. You'll get there. You'll oh, get there. I'm good. But there's, there's, I'm uh, good. there's a common issue, especially with women, all right? It's the common funny, issue yeah. with women, uh, that I've, and I've heard this from a lot of people, a lot of uh, married couples and female friends that we have that uh you know when you give birth sometimes it pushes down your bladder yeah and it puts it in an awkward place and you it, can get it actually it. it actually puts part of your bladder underneath your stomach so when your stomach gets full you have to pee really bad yeah so if you because you, you laugh from your most people laugh from their stomach so when their stomach is actually moving while they're laughing it pushes pee out basically yeah and it and it's a very common thing you know and and a lot of women apparently are very embarrassed about it. I'm not laughing at anybody that does it. I'm just laughing at you. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine you make fun of me. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just putting, I'm bringing it back to a serious topic briefly, and then we can go back to shenanigans. You know, because a lot of people are not aware of this. People, it's, stuff, it's like uncomfortable stuff people don't like to talk about, you know? Like sleep apnea is a lot more common than people realize. But Hell no yeah, one, it is. No one is aware of what it really is, so they have it and living with it, and they're wondering, why am I always tired? Like, for the longest, I was like, I'm freaking always tired. I could freaking get eight, nine hours of sleep, get up and do exercise. I recommend, oh, yeah, take a, take a nice shower, you know, do, do exercise in the morning, you know, go for a jog or something, run the treadmill, you know, jumping jacks, you do some cardio, you know, take a nice shower, and then you'll, you'll never be tired. I was like, bullshit. And I do that, coffee, smoke some crack, I still, I'm still tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have, I, there, and, and the amount of people that are actually, like you said, that are living with it, and kind of either don't know what's going on or like i don't think i have it but i'm always tired too like i mean i can i, can, I my wife knows i can sleep eight nine ten twelve hours yeah sometimes that's a little too much but after even being up for say 24 hours if we do a live stream or something like that and then i sleep for 12 hours or i'm you know and then you go for another week and i'm just i don't get rested until like a week or two later like it's just yep and then sometimes it's not at all so <laughs> that's happening guys you might want to get checked out maybe get some medication help you sleep a little bit better 
Yeah, and the only real so, way to diagnose it is to do one of the most awkward things you could possibly do in the, in the in the medical research capacity, which is do a sleep test, which is where they put you in a room that tries to simulate your home sleeping environment but fails miserably at it. And you can't sleep, you know, because you know some people are watching you through a one-way mirror type thing. And it's never, you know, nothing's as comfortable as your own home. You know, you've probably carved out a little little hole in your bed. You know, you, you broke it in just the way you like it. You know, you could bring your own pillow to it or whatever, but it, it's still awkward because you have all these freaking probes attached to you. The only thing that's missing is them putting a probe up your anus, you know? And and and, and it's just the most awkward thing possible. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And, and and the thing is, a lot of people that have sleep apnea, like, I, with me, I can't really sleep on my back. I have to sleep on my side. That's the way it works for me. I can't. Well, part of mine is the my 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 back is issues and whatnot. Like, yeah, I can't, yeah. I can't sleep in a bed regardless. I can't sleep flat. Like yeah, the only time you know, I could sleep in a bed in a, in a actual bed is if I get one of those sleep number beds to where I can adjust it into the perfect position to be like almost like a recliner. Yep. Because like even like my recliner that I guys I sleep in a recliner. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but like right now it's it's broken down so much for me sleeping in it that it's almost flat when it lays down. Yeah. So like it's time to get a new recliner, but that I have to sleep there because I just can't lay flat. Well, sleeping completely flat is actually bad for you there's like a lot of science behind it i find it since uh, you know because it's actually another thing people take for granted like we spend what is it uh 40 percent of our life sleeping you know or taking naps and and most of us have shitty beds or, or bad or shitty sleep habits right and uh like if you try to sleep flat it's actually bad for your spine like i i sleep with like a, a, a like a body pillow that helps me keep like my spine straight and you know I, I, I got it down to like the perfect s scenario, so I'm not like kicking anybody when I'm sleeping. <laughs> Usually by the time he goes to bed, his wife's so mad at him, that's what he gets to sleep with. <laughs> oh, she's a freak. She, she, a body she, pillow. <laughs> she hogs the covers. She's a freaking bed hog and a cover hog, so I have to kind of like carve out my own little niche so I can sleep comfortably. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, uh, Tycho says he can only sleep if the room is cold. The pillow feeling just right. Completely dark room and using melatonin. Yeah, it's a, you know, a lot of a lot of folks have that kind of scenario. Uh, some people, you know, another nice thing to have is like a white noise machine, because sleeping with complete silence isn't the optimal thing. Uh, a lot of people actually use a fan, just not. Yeah. Some people like like this is something my wife. If she's going to sleep in a room, she has to have a fan going. Yep. Not like white noise or TV or anything like that, but a fan. Not so it's well, like fan, blowing, maybe a fan not is blowing white on noise. her. Well, but I'm saying like if not blowing on her, it just has to be in the room on. Um, like because if I, if I, you know, uh, suffer the consequences the next morning and say, screw it, I'm sleeping with my wife. And I lay with her, she can't have the fan blowing on her because I'm like, fuck this, I'm too cold, I'm leaving. Because if I'm too cold, I'm not sleeping. And then again, I, then that's when I might pee on myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hate freaking waking up in the middle of the night and you have to go really bad. Because, like, sometimes you end up catching second wind. It's like, whoop. And you're freezing. Oh, the worst. Though, we're going through a freaking heat wave down south. Am I right, Deck? Yeah, no doubt. It's like 80 degrees, 80, 90. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm like I'm waking up sweating my balls off. Like, this is not right. This is not freaking holiday weather. <laughs> I'm freezing right now. Uh, can't we meet halfway, you know? Tyreclaw has it, one it, of those uh, Vornado fans. Those are really good. Have you seen the Vornado? Yeah, the, the tall ones that spin. Well, they got the tall ones that are like the tower style one. Those are great, but they also have like the the box fans, but they're circular, and those things put on some CFM, son. Whoo! It sounds just like the name implies a tornado. It is a tornado of air. It's very good. Are those the ones with no fans? I mean, the playlist. No, 
Yeah, playlists. They do make the playlists. Yeah, those are nice. They're expensive, but they're worth it. They're like four hundred bucks. Yeah, I, I got one of those. I got one with a sale because you know I'm a cheap bastard. A lot. I got a long time ago though. It's la this one's lasted wow at least five years. No problems. And it's got the ionizer that cleans the air and everything. That's what happened in man cave. Kind of reduced the the dust. Works pretty well, man. I like it. When I take naps in here, that's my white noise machine. Though I do have like those sleep headphones you could put on. So I might put that on, and there's like an app you could do to create white noise. Or I just fall asleep for listening to podcasts. Depends what mood I'm in. Or music. Usually 80s or 90s stuff. And freestyle. Yeah. All right. Have well. you tried Brawlhalla on Steam? Yes, I Bro. have. Brawlhalla, you know, I still have. Now I have yet. a controller. Now I have a controller. So, oh yeah, I just got speedrunners. I got, um, I know BFT sent me Brawlhalla. I know BFT sent me a Street Fighter game. Um, yeah, I got. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> the Street Fighter was the beta. That's over. Did you play it, Obi? Yeah, I played play it, it once. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I like what they're doing with it. Welcome, CCW I don't, Ninja. I don't, I don't think I played it long enough to to say they're doing it good with it. Like I said, I played it once, and I was like, "All right, I'll play it later." And I went back to play it, and I can't play it now. So, uh, mm, yeah, I'm gonna probably snag some things. There's some Christmas money coming my way. I'm gonna try to snag some of the things before the Steam winter sale ends. Actually, you should probably just jump right into the, the, the brief, the, what little news we have, and then we'll go back to the banter. Mm -hmm. We have a few reminders. Uh, we're not even going to segment it. We're just going to go st jump right straight, in, right straight into the obligatory news. So, reminder, you know, we have the Xbox countdown sale and the Steam winter sales ending soon. I don't know if the GOG.com sale is still going, but get your goodies. Uh, there's a lot of great games on sale. I'm looking at uh, Axiom Verge. I'm looking at uh, uh, Sunless Ocean, or Sunless Sea. I forget how it's called, what it's called exactly. Brawlhalla, like you guys mentioned. Uh, the Borderlands 2 Game of the Year bundle. If you get that, it comes with all the DLCs. Yeah, I got that, dude. <laughs> Nine bucks. It's yeah, worth it. Elite Dangerous, dude, get that. I got it. Do you have Rocket League? I recommended Elite Dangerous before. That's one of my games you of the year. Yogi Zilla, do you have Rocket League? I do. You do have Rocket League. Okay. Yes. Now, we have to find here within the next few days, we have to find two people that really want Rocket League. That, that really want play. it and, and will that play are, it. That are going to, and this is something serious, guys, because I don't want to give this shit away. Like we, we said this before, I don't want to give this away if they're, you're not going to play it. Yeah. Uh, this year alone, I probably wasted $150 on buying games for people that just don't play them anymore. Well, this is what um, I did. This is what I did, Obi. I, I made it. I, I left a, a cookie, tr uh, like a, a crumb, a, a crumb tray. Like, but I did a, bre a breakfast tray. There we go. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. I think what? Cookies. I left a crumb, a little crumb tray, right? For for people, for people that actually opened it up. Said our... crumb, not come. Crumb, not come. You weirdo. Yeah, but but if you followed that trail. <laughs> From our email blast that we do our newsletter to the next point that it takes you to, to the point it takes you to after that, you probably got a few free games. But if you were like most people in, in modern times and you were just lazy and didn't bother, you like probably didn't bother opening it, you missed out on games. Our last lucky winner won over $200 worth of free, free games and software, uh, which was made in part by multiple sponsors, which we have on the website. So we do actually give stuff away. I actually got jealous because I was like, damn, I really wanted to keep some of that free stuff for us. I was like, uh, no, they gave it to us for the purpose of giveaway. I got to give it away. You know, integrity and all. But some okay, people, well, I was jealous. You know what? In the spirit of giving away, and since we're on, and this is something that um, for those that are on All Games Network, actually, we're live here, so maybe I should do it over there. Well, um, I'm in both places, you know. Well, but I'm going to give Guns of Icarus away right now. Oh, just I a see. copy of it. It's another good so, game. Um, where I'm at, if you are on All Games Network, stay there, but jump over to geekyantics.net on Twitch, or Geeky Antics on Twitch, and we're going to give a, a Guns of Icarus away here in a few minutes. You guys don't have it, you guys want it. 
Yeah, it's a good, that's, that's a very good game. It's a, a game we need to bring back. We were, we were big on it when it first came out, like, a couple years ago. We need to get back into that. We're getting back into Warframe. Oh, the game that I keep talking about, I want people to get, Dungeon of the Endless. It's like four bucks now. And it's such a good game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's just such a unique yeah. little game. And it's four-player right. co-op, so no raging. You know, it's just working together to do things. It's pretty damn dope. Again, Rocket League, it's four-player co-op, too. Yeah, but it's a different kind of thing. This is action RPG dungeon crawling. This is action race car driving, dude. Come on. I, you can jump. I've been playing it, dude, and you can, Rocket League you can is great. jump up and do some crazy flips and speed bursts. Like, I was watching a streamer. He's platinum in 1v1. Like, uh, some of the shit he was doing... Oh my god. How can you play that game 1v1? I, I do not see the enjoyment. I mean, I guess for, it's different kinds of people, but I will not duel someone. Yo, bro, do me in Rocket League. Come at me, bro. Seriously? No. I want it to at least be 3v3. Yeah. I've been playing the 4v4 match lately, and it's fun. Because really, when I, when it, like 4v4, I like to sit back by our goal and actually clear the ball. I don't care about scoring. I just want to clear the goal like I play goalie. Yeah, see, and that's And everybody cool. gets so mad at me, dude, when I do it. Like, why are you up here playing? Like, I've stopped three goals right now, dude. Shut the hell up. No, that's the way you're supposed to do the whole soccer thing or, or football, if you prefer. You know, you have the people that play the backfield and the people that are, like, the attackers. If everybody attacked, then, you know, the, the downfield would be wide open. <laughs> I know. That's how you play, folks. But, no, that's, that's, why, that's, why, that's why I want people that I know to play with. Get a deep sneak. We actually play get all in a party and actually play and be like, all right, who's going to attack? And then we can actually communicate. I don't know. It's, it's one of those games where it could be really, really fun if we had three other fight, three other people on to actually play. Because even if we lose, we're having fun, dude. We're having a blast. You can blow cars up in there. You get the speed burst. You can. The last game I was playing, I was driving on the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Yep. If you go fast enough, you can drive. And do a complete circle from up to top to bottom. It's, it's good times. I, 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 me personally, I wouldn't put it up there with Dungeon of the Endless. Because I, I, to me, Rocket League is more of a palate cleanser and not a game that I'll play a lot. Like all the time. I go through spreads. Like I'll play it for like an hour since I'm going to play for 20 minutes. But it's not like, I, I don't find myself going, man, I really want to play this more. It's more like someone will say, hey, we're on Rocket League. I'm like, okay, why not? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great game. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, just want to put that out there. But, you know, if, if, if for some reason you're antisocial or you don't like the sound of your voice or you don't know how to sauce off from internet technically inclined, team speak, you know, stuff like that is really complicated for you because we get, we get that feedback a lot. All right, we're not going to troll you. All right, fine. fine. Then you have other options. The Facebook page, more than likely you're on Facebook already, right? All right, you're not on Facebook. Fine. Then if you're playing games on PC, 99% chance that you are on Steam. And we have a Steam mm-hmm. group. If you look up Horseplay, that's the official Geeky Antics Steam community group. We go on there. We have a chat room, you know, and you just uh, go in there and we'll play and we'll play games together. You can see what other people are playing. You can see our our playlist of games, games that we recommend, games that we're trying to play as a community together. We uh, mm-hmm. give away stuff on there. We have discussions. You know, it's great. And uh, Tiger Claw saying that he really likes TeamSpeak. He said the TeamSpeak sounds clearer than Skype. The audio doesn't crap crap out like what happens in Skype from time to time. Yeah, because Skype tries to get super good quality, and it hogs up the 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 bandwidth, and then it's doing it for each person. And then if you have someone that has lag or malware on their computer, it screws up everybody else on the call. It's a terrible model. Yep. It's convenient Eventually- though. Eventually, guys, we'll have it to the point where um, podcasts that are done are around me, basically people just come to the podcast studio. So then if there's multiple people, you know, especially if you live around me, come on over. You guys can use the setup. We'll fly Yogi out uh, or up there uh, once we get all settled in, and we'll do a live podcast with Yogi, you know. Bring his, he'll have to bring his nagging wife, um, from what he says, so then she'll get the uh, the girl treatment. <laughs> oh, no, dude. If you guys come up, like when we move, 
and we set everything up. You guys come up. Your wife's gonna be. Your wife will leave happy. I promise you. All right. I mean, it should be less of a crabby pants then. I like it. Oh no, my wife will spoil the shit out of her while she's there. <laughs> she did like the care package that uh, your wife last sent her. Did she? Good. Yeah. That that cheered her up for about a day, so that was good. Hey, day at a time, bro. <laughs> day at a time. Um, just to let you guys too know too that um. You know what, we're just kind of, I think we're still bantering, I believe. No, we're, um, try, we're trying to get through the news. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what, did you want to do the uh, spiel about when we are? Well, speaking the of the, like, we were doing, like, the Steam Steam um, groups and stuff like that, where you guys can get with us on Steam, if you guys are on Steam as well. And you guys, you know, I'll talk about site later, go ahead. Don't forget, well, guys, yeah, Force Play Live is every Thursday at 11 p.m., Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Pacific on Twitch channels, Geeky Antics, and Yogizilla. Uh, Horseball Live Replay is right here on allgames.com. And is also available on Thursdays at about 5 p.m. Eastern Time on All Games. So, right here, guys. You guys but are on now, allgames.com. Now we're right doing now. it live. We are live right now. But it's crazy next dog. week, are they going to hear this show again next week? Uh, yes. Next week, so if you miss replay. anything. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And now it's time for the obligatory news and rants. Ding. So now, now we're officially started with the news. Yes. So reminding you about the, the, the sales. Uh, January 4th is how long you have for Steam Winter Sale. Um, so nag people for Christmas money. You know, I don't know. Sell some plasma. Sell a kidney. Then you can buy more games that you'll probably never play, but you can look at and be proud of them. I know I will. Mm. I might sell both kidneys. Who needs them mm -hmm. anyway? Mm -hmm. Fuck it in here. <laughs> we want to say big thank, uh, big thanks to Deckard C, Morgana Freya, Tucky Envy, who was here earlier, Spiders Venom, BFT9000, Raddy, aka Ratatatat, King Deem. And everybody else who's uh, been generous lately or, you know, just ongoing support and love and generosity. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff that keeps us going. Even if it's just a pat in the back, you know, sometimes a kick in the butt when you need it. Definitely appreciate it. And yeah, our Steam community group, again, is called uh, Horseplay. If you just look up Horseplay, it'll come up. But it's, it'll, if you look at it, the actual URL is like uh, steamcommunity.com forward slash groups forward slash geeky antics. I believe that's what, what it is. But for some reason, keyword search... For geeky antics doesn't show up. Who knows? But that's that's what it is. I want to also say a special thanks in particular to Vince Martin of Martin Septic Ser Services and uh, Jesse Eller of uh, Unified Combat League. Uh, they've been really strong, uh, really instrumental in keeping us going, like keeping momentum going, helping us reinvest in our community and uh, the, the infrastructure. We got some things coming up in the new year. Uh, make sure you check them out, geekyants.net for slash sponsors. Click, like, share, all that good stuff. And uh, truly appreciate everything that our, our sponsors and our partners have done uh, and collaborated with us on. Um, we have some, we have some uh, podcast news. Uh, we have some other projects on the way. Uh, I know Deckard has shown some mild interest in doing some segments, maybe a podcast himself. And King Deem may be more of a regular. He's been... Kind of playing with the idea of doing an anime show. I'll believe it when I see it. I know, I know. We get pitched so many ideas, and you know, one of my New Year's resolutions, you know, I like helping people, and I and I go above and beyond. But I'm gonna cut back a lot more on the free stuff I do and the initiative I take. I, I'm gonna want you guys to step up, invest in in the community, invest in others first, and then we'll invest back in you. Because like Obi was ranting about earlier. It's really frustrating when you're generous and then people just flake out on you. Like you want to be, you want to be compassionate, you want to be generous, but then it kind of just starts to nag at you, starts to gnaw at you. It's like, all right, I gave you all these free games and you can't even come by like once a week and say hello. Like no one's that busy. Eventually, you take a crap, and you have and you have some free time. Cause what else are you doing while taking a dump? Well, maybe yeah, we probably shouldn't answer that question. Probably but concentrating on taking a dump. I don't you know, know. Poop on your hands or some shit. Everybody multitask. I don't want to hear it. They're probably mm. playing Candy Crush on the can or something. Who knows? They should be playing Gems of War. 
or chatting with us on Facebook or Steam. Yeah. Or listening to a podcast. I'm a little biased, though. <laughs> Always. Uh, oh, we got some less than, less than fun news. Did you, did you hear about this, guys? Everybody chime in on this. Uh, some dude, some scumbag on YouTube who is openly molesting children. It's not a joke, by the way. I think it's Lion Maker Studios or something. It's, it's kind of going all throughout social media. Around. I think we posted it on our Facebook page. Um, but uh, I don't really know who he is. Apparently, he's an established YouTuber. And he's got his own quote-unquote studio. And uh, this guy's such a dirtbag that, you know, he's loving the attention. He's actually straight up tweeting out and whatever and replying to people's messages. And saying that he loves the attention because it's boosting traffic to his YouTube channel and his website. And, he, you know, he's like, great, I'm going to make more money. And uh, he justifies his actions because he's been sleeping with, like, 15-year-old girls. And he's, like, 36 or 35, something like that. He says, I, I, I don't see the big deal. My parents are, are, are 20 years apart. <laughs> and I'm like, well, if you were a parent, maybe you might understand why people are fighting to get you off of YouTube. But, you know. That's just saying. This is someone's child that you're messing around with. This is, I don't know. So there's a big thing about trying to get him off of uh, YouTube. Did you, guys, did you guys hear about this? Or am I just kind of, we just rambling on? No, no, I'm glad I didn't because that makes me sick. Yeah, I don't like shit like this either. I, I don't know Cuban news because I hate bad news. It's already bad shit we have to deal with in life. And I mean, regardless, isn't that statutory rape right? what we're talking about? Isn't he, like, breaking some kind of federal yeah. law? That That's what I'm saying. I don't know how he's getting away with it. He's just openly admitting, like, yo, Lord, you can't do anything. Unless he's really not doing it and just talking it. Because really, I, 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 something like that, especially with, like, the like child porn and, and all this other bullshit going on, and he's a, a, a fixed figure on YouTube already, he would be in jail faster than you, he could sneeze, dude. Unless he's really not doing it, like if he and he's just saying just to get all the attention. It's possible. It could be all publicity stunt, you know. I mean, it's... you got to think about what people do just to get to the top. People oh, will yeah. fucking choke their mama for a fucking slice of some good pie, you know. Not not you know metaphorically, of course, but it. Some people might do it literally, oh, yeah. sadly. Well, yeah, literally, but I mean, I mean, and, and it wouldn't have nothing to do with kids or anything. But I, I would do something like that to boost my channel. Not necessarily sleeping with underage girls, but um, <laughs> I don't like, good save, good I, save, I couldn't Obi. do that. But anything? I mean, no, not not anything, but something crazy like that. You know what I mean? The yeah. the way it was. Put out, and I would, yeah, hell yeah, fuck that, and really not publicity, do a damn thing. Publicity and then stunt. people just, yeah, just publicity. Pub, <laughs> I can't even say it. Pu just publicity. Publicity. Yeah, pubicity, right? <laughs> uh, just to get it, just to get grow. Hell yeah, I would do that shit. Well, you but know. Not necessarily, again, not necessarily the way he's doing it, but I mean. There's that old, uh, that old adage that, you know, you know, bad publicity is better than no publicity at all. And that is kind of true, sadly. Like, and the thing is, actually, bad publicity might be better than good publicity because the way the internet is, for the most part, people love talking about bad news or bad guys. Like, we just eat people up love negative stuff. Hate. Yeah, they just if it's bad news, it's like, uh, you know, a good example. Total Biscuit uh, had, had cancer, and everybody ate that up. And I'm and, and I, I love Total Biscuit, but like, if he was saying, "Hey, I got a unicorn." Or I found the cure to cancer. No one will care. But it's like, you know, it's bad news. I like fly Wait, to it. I thought that was fake. Is that real? No. He did. Total Biscuit? Yeah, he did. He was fighting with cancer. He, oh, he's, he was open about it. Did you just see like, how he started looking like kind of pale and run down after a while? Yeah. He, 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 he's, he's fighting. He's, 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 he has relapsed so far. But yeah, that's a legit thing. And he didn't play it up. I got to give him props. Like He didn't make it a, a sob story. You know, he was just open about it, and then, you know, that hasn't been, he didn't make that his platform. He could have totally milked it. But, you know, it's like we just love, like, you know, the society, we just love negative things and bad news. It's like, it's scary. You know, me, I'm like, man, there's so much bad shit, so much drama, so many problems to deal with. Why are we looking for more? You know? 
So you know, I, I almost didn't want to talk about this news, but it's just it's just crazy. You know, it's it's funny too because I mean it's not very really funny. You're still talking about it. Is that yeah? It's not really funny, haha. But this guy, if you look at Lion Maker Studios, his logo looks like a uh, like a rapey type of thing. It's a lion, like the uh, like you'd see in a, in a child a children's illustrated book. But then he's angry, and I'm like, and it looks creepy, and I'm like, yeah. I, 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 for some reason, I don't know this guy, but I'm not surprised that it's him. <laughs> Cause like he's marketing himself like Lion Maker Studio. It's like it, like I said, he's targeting younger audiences, and I'm like, not surprised. You know, we get some young listeners and young viewers, and we have the warnings, parental advisories, the explicit tags. You know, the the thing on uh, on, on on Twitch, which actually kind of sucks because people have to click before the video starts for them. We kind of have to do that to cover our ass if we get to you know some racy conversations. But we're not like we're not targeting kids. You know. We just say, come one, come all, but this guy was clearly going for that demographic. Anyway, anyway moving on. A, a funnier bit of news. want to find this guy and punch him in the face. Yeah, a lot of people feel that way. A lot. Apparently he got hacked too, and he felt like he was being uh, targeted, and it was unfair. But like he's slapping people in the face like he's being ballsy, so he got to take what he gets. You know? But, um... <clears throat> Did you hear the one about the kid that got the uh, the the uh, wooden the block of wood in his PS4 that he, that his parents bought for him in, in at Target? What the fuck? Yeah, it, and, and he got a block of wood in the in the PS4 box, and mm-hmm. and not only was that, that as if that wasn't bad enough, it had a a, a dick drawn on it, <laughs> a very a very hairy cock, might I add. You guys really don't watch our our. our uh, don't go to our Facebook page, do you? <laughs> it's it's great. It's great. It's like, and it's, it's funny because I commented on it and BFT was quick to resp- reply. I'm like, well, maybe this one will actually play good games. <laughs> and he goes, still plays better games than your Xbox One. I'm like, uh, that's very subjective, but sure. Define good. Define better. PS4, the system for people that like to play alone. That's what I say. You like single player games? It's a great system, and people admit to that. If they're honest, they admit to it. Like I got know people that have every console, including PC, PC Master Race, yeah. And then and then, <laughs> and uh, and they uh, they say I had uh, Call of Duty for for PS4. It did not play right, so I traded it in and got it for Xbox One. So your early access on your PS4, enjoy. You know, because. Still, if you're playing multiplayer games, if you're a multiplayer gamer, you play on PC or Xbox One. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Don't hate. It's just the reality of it. But anyway, so I, I don't know. I, I felt bad because the poor kid had his dreams destroyed. And, and like the, the tagline on it said, Ch- uh, child uh, no longer believes in Santa because of, of that experience. Like, Santa wouldn't have let this happen. <laughs> Like Hell yeah, that. he would. You must have been a badass little bitch that year. What? <laughs> See, I laughed at it, even though I'm a parent. I had to laugh at it because, you know. What is his parents play a quick a joke on him or something? No, they bought it like that in the store. So someone employee must have repackaged it. And, 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 you know, the funny thing, too, that PS4 box, the inner box it has, the cardboard box in there, looks unofficial. Like, that looks janky as hell itself. But that's the official packaging. So they t- they took wood, they carved it so it would fit perfectly in the box and have the right weight. This took effort. True. I uh, yeah, Tiger Claw said something good came out of the story. The Target replaced and gave him the actual one. Yeah, you know what? Considering what the kid went through, they should have done a lot more than that. Like they should have given him some free games or something. Why? Like, because no, 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 no. Yes. Fuck Christmas. That's no business. Business, dude. Yeah. Whatever, but whatever that's... goes in that box, that's what you get, little motherfucker. No, that's all you get. That happened to. That happened at. That had to have happened at the Target. That did not happen at the, you know, Sony packaging plant or whatever. That yeah, was, but hey, open sorry, for, sorry, my employee did that. What you paid for is your system and whatever comes in that box, which is more than likely maybe a free game complimentary. 
that you can't really play the game because it's demos. And then you have the console, one controller, and the power cord. Have a great day, sir. Let's see. <laughs> if it was my business, I would make that to I would re- turn that business. around, turn that around into a, a, a feel good story. Come back and say, you know what? Not only will you get this PS4, but you'll get the three games that only the only three games that are worth a shit on this platform for free. <laughs> and I'll give you a giraffe. Enjoy. Gonna ju- you'll probably get more use out of the giraffe anyway. I was but gonna say panda, but pandas are is, endangered. So it it is PS4 sure. all after all. I mean, <laughs> now if it was Xbox One, I'd be enraged. <clears throat> I mean, you know, all jokes aside, this kid was crushed. Like, to have him lose that magic, that love for Christmas because some asshole was being selfish is like, I wanted a free PS4. No, by the time someone <laughs> notices, I'll be out of this place, you know? It's probably someone that already left the company or got fired. My exactly. God. Whatever you said, yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Just a reminder, uh, on uh, Sunday, January 3rd, the Sunday Dose returns this week, this weekend. Well, technically next week, depending on how you look at it. And um, and then on the 7th, we're doing our Video Game Awards show. Let's see, we got something here in the yes. chat. Here's a little something for you guys. Sunday Dose, it, uh, like he said, it's going to be on. Um, we're going to be talking about some of the, the New Year tournaments, in, uh, and this is something that I just want to get out to everybody. We're going to be talking about every New Year tournament that's coming out. Um, multiple games, StarCraft, Dota 2. Yes, I'm talking about Dota 2. Uh, i got uh, CSGO, Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, um, just uh, Call of Duty. We're going to be talking about all these games, whether it's console or PC. So if you guys want to get into the conversation, hit me up on Sunday. So we're doing two award shows. We're doing the Sunday Dose and Horseplay? Okay. No. What are you talking about? I'm like... talking about t- upcoming tournaments for the year for all different games. Are you going to be giving me awards? style. Are you going to give awards too? No. I don't give a fuck about no awards. Okay. I mean, you could. I'm just saying. Why? What? Okay, I'll give awards. I... You can give it a, uh, you know, beard. The beard system. You get a uh, half-shaved beard. Half-shaved beard. It's nothing about whatever. It's about tournaments that are either coming up or going on before third, before Sunday, the New Year. I don't, okay. I don't know what where awards came in with this. I'm messing with you, bro. Anyway, uh, Igti, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. He's been here before. He uh, had some comments here. He was talking about uh, wow, what an admission. Oh, he's probably talking about the YouTuber admitting that openly. Yeah, balls on that guy. Balls, I tell you. Uh, he said, hi, by the way. <laughs> and then uh, he was kind of lurking for a little bit. And uh, so I guess that that took him out of lurk mode, that conversation. Yeah, it's, it's important to know the kind of scumbags that are out there, man. Then uh, he, li- he liked the news bit about the uh, the wooden PS4. He goes, Santa delivering the sarcasm to the naughty kids. <laughs> and he said uh, if, if it was him running the business, he'd give a full refund, full refund replacement device, and free games. But that's not how capitalism works, though. Yep. It's always about the short game, not the long game. I play Adventure Capitalist for a reason. <laughs> Just saying, bro. You know, I refuse to get the angel invested. That's, that's how much I, I hate capitalism. I'll play that game, but I won't get the angel invested. They're like, hey, get the angel investors. You'll get more oh, money. Dude, I'm like, nope. Yeah. Suck oh, it. yeah. I just got, uh, I play it on my phone, which, you know, all these games that I play on my PC, I, I, I try to link them to my phone, and then it doesn't work, so I'm playing, like, Gems of War. I would totally play that game more if it w- I could get it on my phone. The same game. But I, I don't know. For some reason, it just doesn't work. It does work. You got to figure it out. Go to the, the, the FAQ. Cause yeah, it, I did it. <laughs> yeah, if you have an Android device or an iOS device, you can link your account to your I Steam. I got to figure it out. Okay. That yeah. game has a great review. I'll figure it out when I get second <laughs> time. Oh, Paul, Le- leave it to you to chime in at just the right times. I love it. What? The, the great review. I, know, I, know, I see what you did there. <sighs> Tire Claw asks, the Video Game Awards, who are going to be the presenters? It'll be me and Obi, but then we'll also do community picks as well. <laughs> Any big names? <laughs> yes. Yogi Zilla and, uh, and Obi One X2. The, the biggest Whoa. biggest names in the corner of the industry. <laughs> ah. 
Uh, but you know, we're gonna try to do it from a different kind of angle, more about the the lesser known games and categories that to us make more sense. Cause I hate like again, I hate the whole uh, best shooter category or best multiplayer game. That's like so. That's such a broad stroke. We're gonna fine tune it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like that's you know best competitive game. There's so many types of competition. Like you can say freaking mahjong online is competitive, but to say that's the best competitive game, like, ugh. oh boy. Or Minecraft. I heard that's pretty competitive. <laughs> We're lucky Morgana's not here. She'll give. She'll tell you a thing or two about Minecraft. Yeah. That was a good debate, though. That was my, probably my favorite part of the show outside of the drunken karaoke replay. Episode 106, you gotta, gotta listen to it. It might be one of our best episodes of all time, if not the best now. Till now. Ten, oh, till now? You think? You think it's gonna top it? No, this is shit. This, <laughs> this shouldn't, you know, this is a fake show, so. A pseudo <laughs> show. Doesn't count. <laughs> Oh, man. So before we get back to the rest of the ra- banter, we do have to wrap up pretty soon because that's seven, in about a half hour where uh, Dead Pixel Live comes on. And I don't think anybody else is going to be calling in. But we're glad uh, everybody's joining us. we got a nice crowd considering the day. And Christine's still lurking there. Coo, coo. Obi. I love mm. you. <laughs> what? I love you too. Do you have an Obi on the Pody moment? No. Nope. No? You already blew your load earlier. Yep. Yeah, Obi's thing, if you didn't get the message, is that... And I feel the same way. We love giving free stuff. But one of the things we're resolving to do in the new year is that we're going to give the free stuff to the people that we feel deserve it the most. So if it's a a sweepstakes or giveaway and we open up to the public, we're going to make it so that it's going to be open to the public for people that are going to the places where require a little more effort, like the website or the Steam page. You know? You have to put a little effort for it. But we're going to also give really cool random gifts to people that we see that are consistently there and supporting us, you know? And speaking of totally random gifts, for the question for to answer that you need to answer for this game called game Guns of Icarus, how many ounces of beer have I drank today? And that's since midnight um, last, you know, this morning Not to enough. now. How many ounces of beer have I drank today? 250 milliliters. Wrong. You said ounces? Fuck it. It's milliliters now. <laughs> that's how oh, I look, go. Uh, we got someone in the waiting room. Mm-hmm. So first one to answer it correctly in, uh, in chat or you guys. I already did. Said not enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> work like that. It needs to be a firm number. Is there? Do they have to get it close? If they go, how many over? ounces? Right, but it, the closest wins. But without going the, over, or does it matter? Fifty-two ounces. Okay, there's a fifty-two. I right, say fifty-two. All right, so we have Deckard. Deckard's down for fifty-two. Put it in. Put it in. Put it in chat if you're I there. It, I put it in the chat. Put it in the chat for him. Decker, yeah. Decker says. Uh, I bet your mind is closer though. Oh, because <laughs> his price is right. Yeah, he put the right prices right on you, yeah, man. Dude, closest one wins. It's a dollar. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey guys, mm-hmm. about a dollar. <laughs> hold the horses, guys. Hey. Morg is here. Hey. I am here. Were your ears ringing? Oh no, I heard it. Oh fuck. <laughs> I heard it. I put it in chat that I'm here. I heard it, and I told oh. him to shut it. Oh, What'd you man. hear? So, Did you hear all oh, your of little, it? Your little right. Minecraft it, thing. It wasn't little. We got, we got uh-huh. 60, 60 <laughs> imperial ounces. Uh, 63 ounces. How 18, many ounces of beer have 18 I drank? 18 read my beer? mind. 18 read my mind because we're still on the imperial system. I was thinking when he said metric, I was like, no, imperial system. 60 imperial ounces. America. Yo. Right. You always think you're better than me. <laughs> Come on, guys. I want to get this game away. What game? Uh, we have Sworn. Guns of Icarus. Sworn has an answer. Oh, yeah. By the way, Guns of Icarus. Uh, Tyreclaw asked. He said, 
I, I take it out. It's not related to get Kid Icarus. No, it's not a Nintendo game, or it never, it's never been a Nintendo platform. Probably never will be. It's a PC game where you are air pirates. You know, like kind of like Final Fantasy. You get to pretend you're in Final Fantasy, <clears throat> but it's very steampunk. You mm-hmm. know, you got a crew of four people per airship, and you can have teams, and you like pew 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 at each other, and one person's fixing stuff, another person's you know navigating, then you get the pilot, and you you have you know you got the <laughs> gunner. It's, it's pretty epic. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. It's pretty damn epic. We have a group. Of and if somebody gets it exactly, if somebody gets it exactly, I'll give them the choice of two games: either Guns of Icarus or Rocket League. How's that? Oh damn! Can you get both? Not enough. Final answer is not an answer, sir. Sorry. Yeah, it is. Let's go. <laughs> At says sixty imperial fluid. I, I can fluid. still make out the words you're speaking. Not but, uh, enough. Ikti says 60 Imperial Fluid is 3 pints. That's not much, to be honest. He would increase, but you sound pretty sober. He knows us well already. <laughs> okay, I'm sober, sure. <laughs> he drinks that light stuff. Mm. So he could drink like 500 ounces of it and be sober. No. <laughs> I drink heavy lagers, guys. Fun fact... If you actually find Coors, it's cheaper than getting light beer because they barely sell Coors. Because people, everybody buys light beer these days for some reason. Piss water. I mean, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. It's piss. Yeah, piss water. Yep. All right, the answer, because nobody else is guessing. Okay. Is 49. Actually, wow, 48.6. It's right on the, on the head in the chat. Hey, yeah, but 40, look how yeah. many guesses he's had. Forty-eight yeah. point six, to be exact. <laughs> I well, think Decker, I'm the grats, closest. Grats on your fifty-two. I won. What? Though. What do you yeah, get? You did. What do I get? Oh no, never mind. Guns of Icarus. Of Icarus online. Great game. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, uh, I'll take the other game. <laughs> Rocket League. Oh damn. <laughs> But shit. you had to get it. You got to get it head on. I mean, you had to. You had to be head head oh. forty eight. Well, yay! That, that guy, uh, not Panda. I see him with forty nine. Victorious. Well, forty nine is still wrong. <laughs> I still have. I still have another copy of Guns of Victory. If you would have said fifty one, not you would have had it. Apparently, not wants it. He's not gonna play it anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, so, uh, was it uh, Icarus something? <laughs> Icarus something. Oh, Probably right. not. That's like someone saying, I'll give you this, this Ferrari if you could uh, guess the number between 1 and 10, and you're like, Ferrari, don't you have Ferrari, Ferrari what? <laughs> not, don't you have it already? Which one? Guns of Icarus. Uh, no. Hmm. What? Other games to give away. We won't give them away tonight. Early Easter egg hunt. So you know, check, check geekyheads.net. Check, uh, you know, the Facebook page, the Steam group. It'll probably be one of those places we'll put some more codes. That's all we're telling you. Wait, or we'll give you Decker? hints of where to go next. You already had that game, dude. What? Who? Deckard. I I got guns. Of, I do. You already oh, have. Yeah, I think I gifted to him last year. Decker, you already no. Decker wanted Rocket League. You already have Rocket League, dude. Did oh. you give this to? Me? No, I don't have. Oh yeah, I do have Rocket League. You gave Nub it to me. sauce. Rip. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, dude. Wow. Like, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'll give it. I'll give it Rocket League, and I'll just give Not Panda Guns of Icarus. Now, you know what? Now I feel like an asshole. Thank you. I, yeah. I didn't even want to do that anyway. Of the endless. So you're giving up your win? You don't want Guns of Icarus? Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. We can't hold on, dude. It's, it's a lot. Yes, sir. I do. Uh, I do, sir. We, we really can't, you know, like, just hold Don't hold on. on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Here it comes, baby. Whoa. Glub, glub, glub. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. That, you know what? That just strike that out of your live stream, please. <laughs> that, that's horrible. 
Oh boy. How's everybody, Thank you uh, for the gift. How's everybody holidays been so far? It's good. Been great. So, you, probably should, you probably should have started with that. <laughs> I went to see Star Wars today. It was nice. Yeah. No, first time. I wanted to go where there's less crowds, and uh, my no, there there were it was a full house in there. Oh Jesus! Yeah. But you went today. I mean, it's New Year's Eve. Nobody's working. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Only the retard people that work at gas stations work on New Year's Eve. Well, let me ask. Jesus, let me ask Jesus, you, dude. <laughs> let me ask you guys a question. Ahead, what would be your reaction or your immediate thought? Call the Better Business Bureau and the whatever agency they're gouging. Sorry, <laughs> no one else has thoughts. There's, there's no way it should be that much. Hundred dollars, maybe. Yeah, $100. I actually spent four hundred dollars on Valentine's Day for me and my wife on a four, five course dinner. Never doing that again. Hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, You're anyway, a dumbass. Yeah, <laughs> I felt like one afterwards. What's Red say on the that '70s show? <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it turns out Olive Garden in Times Square is actually doing this, and you know, granted, they do have a great view of everything. Dude, you're in Times Square. Come on. But it's still ridiculous. I mean, I know it's no, New York. No, no. Okay. Now, now that it, now that you say it like that, but you're in Times Square. In one of the biz probably busiest restaurants I in get New it. York. It's a tourist trap, though. That place I mean, is a tourist trap. It is four hundred. Still, even if I lived there, I would still pay four hundred dollars to go in there. No, you wouldn't. I lived there. I lived by Times Square. I would not. I would never have. Never would. Well, if I lived by Times Square, I wouldn't have to pay anywhere because I could watch it from my own fucking house. I mean, I was close to it. I was. I couldn't see it from my house, but I was close to that, like a walking distance. It's, a, yeah, it's cold right now, dude. I don't want to walk outside. Dude, everybody walks in New York. <laughs> That's the thing. You drive a car in New York City, you're either a drug dealer or a crackhead. Either way, you're, you need to get off of it. This okay, is... for one, a crackhead would not be driving because they would have already cracked out their fucking car for a, a rock, so... <laughs> Let's get that straight right now. I'm just saying you're not a you're not a proper mind. That's 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 the thing. Not a sound mind if you're driving the city by choice. Oh, even any city, any city that has public for transportation, I'm not gonna fucking take my car, unless yeah. it's like not unless it's like where I live. But I mean, even Grand Rapids is starting to get to where the point where it's, you know, from. Seven o'clock to eight thirty, you can't get nowhere because there's traffic wall to wall. Uh, from four o'clock to five thirty, it's the same thing. Like if you're driving, like if you get out of work, if you can go to work at six and leave at three, that's the perfect time to work. Or leave at you know stay at six to six. Avoid you're, the you're rush perfect. hour. You, you miss yeah. all the rush hours. Yeah, rush hour traffic, bumper to bumper, never a fun thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I just looked at the time. And 20 I was, minutes, man. Yeah, I don't want to cut it close because we can go off on some tangents. Shut us up. We can no, go off some tangents. We can do 15 more minutes. I'm looking at the time at 6:55. I will do the closing stuff. Okay. Well, uh, anybody is anybody doing anything for tonight for New Year's Eve? I'm actually going to um, myself, Fifi, and. Uh, OBJ stands for Junior. Um, <laughs> we're uh, we're actually just watching the uh, the ball drop in New York uh, on TV. We have a grim, you know, at the, their house they got a big screen, so we're gonna watch the ball drop and count down and just that thing of you know, give my wife a kiss on the New Year. Aww. you know, kind of thing. Um, but I'm like old school, like yeah, I'm not really much for sentiment and. 
you, she can tell you straight up, like I'm, uh, I'll do what I need to do to make her happy. Like, but like when it comes to like a like really romantic, sorry, <laughs> just not that guy. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm I'm surprised again tonight. First, talk about the cupcake, and they see you're not a romantic. I would totally picture you as a softy, who like is very considerate and and sweet, and never gets angry. His skin is like sandpaper. Fool you, huh, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Was that? I, I don't think that statement was dripping with enough sarcasm. Can I do it? Can I get? Can I get a do-over? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Nah, it's, I, I, I'm almost, almost gone. It's a loss. I'm still gonna say it. Fooled you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Morg, do you have anything planned, Panda? Not a thing for me. Yeah, it's not about right. And that's by. And I like it. Now, the only thing I'm doing is thinking. I think as long as you're thinking, reflecting upon the year past, and like kind of re refreshing yourself, whatever your ritual is to refresh yourself for the new year, that's cool. You don't need to go out. What? what that's frustrating. I don't want to go to the year nice. pissed off at everything, like people elbowing me and being loud, loud and obnoxious. Ugh. I'm gonna Why are they elbowing you? I'm saying like crowded sp spaces. People like go out to like yeah. a club or. A restaurant or to watch the ball drop is like, uh, I guess. I mean, one time, sure. But as a yearly thing, you're crazy. Pass. A man's home. A man's a man's home is his castle. Word. Yeah. 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 Panda, you do you doing anything tonight? You're on the West Coast, so you used to have time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're going over to a family friend's house, drinking. Yeah. You making the churros? Yeah. The churros for tonight? Make some buñuelos and stuff. Oh, yo, your, your family makes buñuelos? Uh, yeah. Hook it up. I didn't know buñuelos were a Mexican thing, too. I know that Costa Rica is big, and uh, Colombians. You make buñuelos, bro? So all the drug dealers? <laughs> Buñuelos are freaking delicious. Uh, I don't even know what those are. What are those? <laughs> you ever had a... Uh, the best thing I could compare it to, you ever had an Italian Zeppoli? Oh, Buñuelos. <laughs> Buñuelos, Buñuelos. <laughs> Buñuelos. Yes. Jalapenos. Yes. Just like, yeah. It's pronounced Jalapenos. Jalapenos. <laughs> oh, man. Those things are hot. Jalapenos. Uh, <laughs> Ki they are muy quesad caliente. Quesadilla. Muy caliente, guys. Quesadilla. Quesadilla. I can't, even, I, can't, I can't sound that way. I just can't. Quesadillas. There you go. I get them from La Tienda. Yeah, but, uh, La, La, La Tienda. But, La Tienda. <laughs> Over the, there in La Esquina. Yeah, see, there you go. You're good. But, uh, Panda, that's a fair comparison, right? Uh, comparing it to, like, uh... Zeppoli, right? How do you say diapers in Spanish? We just say pampers because we're lazy. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> they say what? Pampelas. We just say pampers. Every Spanish yeah, person I know just say pampers. Mira, mira. Dame un, un pamper. Tiene un mojón ahí. Exactly. <laughs> the, just like the brand name. You just like, say yo, the brand pamper. name. Like, you no, say... no matter what brand it is, though, you always call it a pamper. Yeah, like, we don't ask for paper towel, but like, mira, 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 dame, dame a bounty. bounty. Let me get the uh, fabuloso. <laughs> Steady what? thrust in the house, what's up, man? But, uh... <laughs> no, yeah, you, you've had Zeppelis, right, Panda? <clears throat> I've ever had what? Zeppelis, you know, like, they're like funnel cake. You know, and it's like, you know how funnel cake is covered with the confectioner's sugar? Yeah. It's, and it's uh, not that I remember, I mean. But buñuelos, the yeah. ones the buñuelos I usually have, they're like sweet little balls of bread, like almost cake-like, but they're kind of in between bread and cake, right? Is that how you make it? Uh, it's like a funnel really. cake. Well, there's like two different ways that uh, we make it. Okay. The first one that, that we had uh, for Christmas was uh, basically like you make a, a tortilla, and then you deep fry it, or kind of like, you know, just fry it. And then put like a, oh shit, I'm having like mad hiccups, but you, it's like a little, 
like sauce thing you you bathe it in. And Wait a minute, that. that's like not a like. Glaze? Then there's this other way that we uh, that we saw. Wait, wait, that sounds like uh, uh, ojadras, not buñuelos. I don't fucking know, dude. And then there's this other thing <laughs> where like, that you use like a, a metal uh... resident expert. <clears throat> there's other thing you use a metal uh, like little design thing that you get the the masa from, or not masa, but like the stuff stuff. Your, your mixture, basically, and then you deep fry that, and it becomes like a little... A little ball. Uh, no, not... Like, we, we, I don't know what you're talking about, a ball, like, I don't, I don't see why... That's, that sounds like ojadras to me. Buñuelos are... I've always had buñuelos in ball form. They're like oh. little balls, like a... Almost like a... Like a donut hole. It's not buñuelos or diaper, that's why I asked what's diaper in Spanish. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, I see. I, I just literally looked up buñuelos and... Yeah, I see the ball one that you're talking about. Yeah, as far as I mean, that's what that's what Colombians call them and Costa Ricans call them. It's not really a big thing in Puerto Rico. Us uh, Americans call them donut holes. Oh yeah, you see the ones uh, <laughs> that look like more like tortillas. <laughs> now I heard, mean those. Heard that? Not you're not American. Now we're gonna have to <laughs> look it up here, bu- buñuelos. Yeah, that's exactly what I typed in, and uh, the first thing that comes up is the. <laughs> Oh, the tortilla shit. Images is uh, the donut hole ones. Oh, but... dude. And it also has, if you do it on Bing, it comes, the first, one of the first images that come up is like the tortilla style thing. It's like really crispy. Like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that looks pretty sick. Yeah, we had that. Dude, uh, hold on. I'm about to put this query. On, um... This is the dude, query, the Bing query. Here, this is the Bing dude, query. On, uh... Make sure you log on to Bing Rewards so you get your free points and you can buy Microsoft cards oh yeah yeah microsoft cards yeah, yeah that's right but no longer though. microsoft points so just cards now or what i know they got rid of the what do you earn them with that yeah you get yeah you don't get points anymore you can't do you can't do points where it's a, it's a straight tur- uh trade for currency because that's kind of like considered gambling or whatever the, the law is but they got rid of that i think like a federal thing no one could do virtual you get office 365 with those points you could get um, you could get a, a, a something in the Microsoft Store or something in the Xbox Store. Spaffy Zilla in the house. He's like, give that me to get her up. Yeah, they're sweet, big T. I think they're really, really good. What? There's a um. You've had them before? Yeah. Oh, okay. I have them almost every morning, bro. Sorry. Oh, every Big morning. T has. <laughs> oh, another question for you, Mister Not There's a baker. Panda. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. There, there's a baker that. On my way to my wife's, where my wife's at, there's a baker that that makes those in the morning. They're good, right? The balls. Oh, so good. It's almost like, uh, oh, apparently they are big in Puerto Rico, but I never met someone in Puerto Rico. I never met anyone that made them really in Puerto Rico. Apparently it's popular snack in Argentina, Bolivia, Colombia, Cuba, Guatemala, Mexico, and Nicaragua. Michigan. Morocco, Turkey. Yeah, it definitely has a very Middle Eastern kind of flair to it. And it's been borrowed by a lot of Spanish cultures. Hey, what's what's that dessert that... It's guava paste, but it's a pastry. Pastelillos. Pastelillos. Yeah. Love that those. good. Dude, like, oh, God. I, it's it's like almost like a croissant because it's flaky. Yeah. But then it's got the... Oh, God. And it's got the little glaze on it. Oh, so good. Pastelillos, yo. Skeet, skeet. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking food porn. Hashtag food. Everybody hashtag food porn in the chat right now. I think tonight we're gonna be just tweeting like for the rest of the day. So we did the show earlier. We're gonna just be tweeting like food porn stuff. So if you if you have some food porn stuff, especially like ethnic food, <laughs> you know, the ubiquitous ethnic food, you know, tweet it at us. Uh, hashtag food porn and uh, tweet it at uh, at geeky antics. I wish I could get. I wish I could get uh, people that I knew that made stuff like this. Besides, like, the bakeries. Dude, I make stuff um, like this. Arepas. <laughs> Arepas. I wish, I, wish I lived by you. That's the thing. <laughs> then I could, you could be like, hey, we made this. But, like, I'll be over in a minute. Word. You ever had a... Uh, We're making guys... these today. You want to pitch in? Yeah, dude. Here's my here's my uh, ingredients. Can you, you know, add, add, add a double batch to that? 
Dude, you, you you ain't kidding because once people know that you make these kinds of treats, they're always trying to get you to buy. Like, I'll oh, buy all the ingredients, yeah. but they'll buy the ingredients, but they won't pay for it. The labor, like to make pasteles or freaking tamales, the labor. Like, nigga, you oh, better yeah. pay me Especially for the... Especially for tamales. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to make that shit. That's uh, why only grandmas do it. For real. <laughs> <laughs> the only ones with the time for it. They're, they're pitching Yogi Zilla's delivery service. That's been actually pitched before. I don't know. I don't know if it can ha- if I had to bounce that. I, I, I do like cooking and baking. I do like that. It's fun. I have a little bit of a Martha <laughs> Stewart thing. That's a lot of work. I don't know. Free international yeah. shipping. That, uh. that doesn't seem like a good business model. <laughs> but but uh, Et wanted to know, Panda, would you consider the Buñuelos? Would you consider them um, uh, savory? Or was, she wally or wally. savory or sweet? I've had them sweet. Not well, yeah, like, sweet, if but... you do it the way we had it, it was the 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 actual thing bathed in like a sweetish sweet, like kind of honey, but thinner than thinner than honey. You get me? So, so it was both both then. savory and sweet. Yeah. Oh. It was a big chunk of steak with honey around it. <laughs> well, it uh, the way we made it, it's 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 thin, so it gets like that crunch. You get me? So it's not yeah, sweet. I got it's you. It's crunchy and sweet. Yeah. Hate yeah, you. I've never had a buñuelos like that. That's pretty cool. It's probably the same dough; they just fry it instead. Yeah, it's just like different shape. Have you ever had are- arepas? A what? Arepas. What's arepas? Arepas. Some type of yeah, but that's savory, right? Arepas. Yeah, that, that's savory. That's Did Cuban. That? Yeah, it's sa- you can have it savory or sweet. Like, I've had the sweet kind that's made with cornmeal instead of, like, the flour. <clears throat> Technically, arepas are supposed to be made with the masa arepa. It's the actual dough that's made for arepas, and that's where it gets the name from. But some people make it with, like, cornmeal, so it's more of a yellowish Damn, color Yeah, I need to white. get some more Mexican friends. Dude, how dare where's you? that? Where's that dish from? <laughs> Cuba. Arepas? Uh, that's yeah. Cuba or Colombian too. Yeah, they make Venezuelan yeah. ones too. Yeah. Yeah, I see that right here. The way I've had them is you make them into like a kind of breakfast or almost a dessert type thing. Oh, yeah, and it's I, kind of like a gordita. I melt them. Yeah, yeah, like a gordita. I, 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 if you make them thick, I'll cut it in half and I'll melt some mozzarella cheese in the middle. Ooh. Dude, it's banging. It is so good. Ooh, I just looked it up right now, and yeah, like if, if it's a little thick, they stuff it. it looks like, this looks amazing. Dude, wow. it's good. Unfor- guys, we gotta we gotta wrap this up here. Um, all the food <laughs> talk that we're having. No, seriously, we gotta wrap things up. Um, all the food talk that we're having. Hell yeah! So if you guys make any of these things, this is what I want you guys to do. Hashtag it. I don't want to say food porn because don't do that because then we'll get fucking. No, we don't want to see that. We're going to have car start it right now. If you guys make anything for even all the holidays or anything like that for the New Year's, hashtag it gang food. Okay, hashtag gang food. And, um, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll tweet you guys back. But for now, guys, we do have to get going. Where can we find you, everybody? Deckard? Uh, no. No. Yogi? <laughs> I'm Yogi Zilla everywhere, Xbox Live, Steam, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever cookies are using, Facebook. Come come not, find come for stalk me and then join our groups and, and hang out with us. All right. Not Panda? You don't you don't find me. Morgana. Hashtag uh, Morgana competitive Minecraft. Everywhere. And that too. <laughs> Guys, you can find me, Obi One X two anywhere. But for now, guys, Horseplay Live is everywhere you can listen to download awesome podcasts, including allgames.com, Player FM, Stitcher, and TuneIn Radio. Please take a few minutes to favorite, subscribe. Even better, it would be love if you, we would love it if you give us some reviews and comments. It's really quick. It's easy. It really helps us out. Huge thanks to all those that are promoting and pripping out our content. We love you very long. A big, long time. You guys want to watch the, the live YouTube video, you guys can watch it at Geeky Antics or, or YouTube.com forward slash Geeky Antics. Or right here on twitch.tv for slash Geeky Antics. Here on Geeky Antics Network in collaboration. Blah, 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 blah. Here on Geeky Antics in collaboration with all. <laughs>
Games Network Radio. We have tons of shows that we cover with a wide spectrum of topics. Can't possibly top call everybody out. So we're gonna. You guys want to check them out? Go to geekyantics.net forward slash schedule, where um, you can also see some of the flagship shows of our Twitch and suggested aggregate feeds over at geekyantics.net forward slash podcast. Don't forget, guys. All the music we do is by technox.com. That's techno with the K. But if you guys are right here on allgames.com. Deck Picks a Live Power Ranking Show was followed up by Knuckleballer Radio at its new time, 9 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to hang out in chat room and click over the live or chat button. Just say hi, guys. Now, remember our friends, uh, B-Team, they moved from now to Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. So on our official right here on allgames.com. So All Games Radio Network. Anyway, All Games. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Later. Later. And we'll see you in 2016. See you. See you guys next year, All I right. guess. Yeah. yeah. Nice. What a great show. Peace. What a great show. <laughs> music. No, no music. Just bye. <laughs>